All righty, we are live for our Solution Sunday. Um, so we are still in Las Vegas. We're going to try to make this pretty quick because we have another event to go to this evening. Um, but I'm going to give a quick recap of what our um, what if from this past Wednesday was. And then Heather's going to give her input on what a female should think about, look at, and what solution she thinks would be the best solution for that scenario. So if you call the what if was if you get to work, what if you get to work, um, you're in a dark uh, parking deck, nobody else is really around, but the uh, elevators are out and you're forced into a stairwell that's narrow. Um, what do you do as you uh, try to safely move to your building, working your way through this parking deck? So I'm going to be quiet and let Heather have at, I can't even tell who it is, Mind, Mind of, of Bemo. Bemo. I have no idea who that is. We'll have to look closer at the picture in a minute. Um, but anyways, so there's our recap of the what if, and I'm going to be quiet and let Heather tell you what, um, from the female's perspective, y'all should look at. All right. So the first thing that you need to look at is, well, what I'm there's going to be two different scenarios. So is this your actual workplace or are you visiting this place? Because if it's your actual workplace, then you should be talking to your people that are like the landlords and whatnot and trying to get this situation fixed um, because the squeaky wheel always gets the oil right. Um, but if this is... <laughs> Sorry. If this is somewhere that you're visiting and you don't really have that kind of power and control, I would, one, don't um, go anywhere without uh, shoes that you can walk around in, if that makes sense. Like high heels and things like that are not good for this type of situation because if you do get into something, then um, you can't run away, you can't fight back. So I always carry, or I always wear flats everywhere. And then if I need to have something else, I'll bring it in a purse or a bag. So um, that would be the first step is always wear comfortable shoes or something that you can fight in. Um, put all distractions away. So you're coming to work, so you're probably checking emails, making sure that everything's ready for when you walk in the door. But if you are in a tight, enclosed, dark space, like a stairwell, um, then having that distraction just takes your focus away from something or someone that could do harm to you. Um, so definitely like for the two minutes it's gonna take you to walk up the stairs, put the phone away and be aware of your surroundings. That's the biggest thing is awareness. If you, um, most people who are going to attack somebody are looking for victims, right? So don't make yourself a victim. Um, put yourself in that situation where you can make eye contact with somebody greet them. I know it's everybody, everybody's like awkward, like nobody wants to talk in a stairwell, but if you're like, hey, how are you doing? They're less likely to attack you because they're like, oh, she's confident. I don't want to mess with that. So be confident and be aware of your surroundings. Um, and that would be like the, the two main things that I think would get you through that situation. And then, you know, if it comes down to it, kick ass. <laughs> so... And I think it always helps to kind of touch on one thing she said. Um, it always helps to have like somebody in your phone where you can, um, if you're having like a conversation, you don't necessarily want to be distracted, but if you're on the phone with your sister, your mother, your brother, whoever, um, that is aware of where you are, just tell them, hey, I'm uncomfortable. I wanted to have you on the phone. Um, I'm at you know my parking deck at my work. You know where I work. Um, Pick you. We're not even talking about the giveaway, Mandy. <laughs> um, but that way you can, um, you can if something happens, somebody's aware that something happened. You're not just going to fall off the face of the earth and disappear. Um, so I think having somebody on the phone, if you are uncomfortable or you do have to walk a long distance, um, it'll definitely, that's another little small tidbit. Um, but then, I would definitely be, um, everything in Georgia at least is um, hands-free. So most people have, you know, AirPods or Bluetooth devices. Um, I would always have, I would use that instead of having something in your hand because these are your biggest weapon. Um, or and so keys your in your voice. hand. Yeah. You, you know, put a fist around a set of keys or something. So you have a little, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but that would, yeah, just, um, I wouldn't have both earbuds in and I wouldn't have something 
that's not a weapon in your hand while you're walking. Um, the last thing I'll say is be cognizant of if you're feeling uncomfortable, the next female or next person that shows up is probably also going to feel uncomfortable. So don't just go straight to your office. You know, find a property manager, find a security guard, find somebody that can do something to fix that problem. You know, rope off that area, fix the elevator, or at least get that process started. Because if nobody tells them that the elevator's down, then obviously it's gonna stay down all day. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you relay that message so it gets fixed, so the next person that shows up isn't having that same discomfort or there's another issue like that. So that's all I've got. Good. There's our Solution Sunday. Um, we'll come back with another what if on Wednesday, and if you have any questions between now and then, or if you have a scenario that you think would be a fantastic what if Wednesday, by all means, hit us up, uh, DM us, or hit us on Messenger, um, and let us know, and we'll put it out there, and then give you what we think our solution should be. So, we're heading back into the uh, fateful Vegas, and try not to get lost. We'll talk to y'all soon.